G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Got an awesome video for you today about slaters and earwigs in your worm farm. Look, if you've got that type of pest, maybe going a bit out of control or you're worried about it, keep watching the vlog to find out how to get rid of these guys or what you need to do about it. Worms, composting, gardening, Aussie style. All right, welcome to another vlog, guys. Plenty here you can learn from Marty's Garden about worm farming and small space gardening, growing stuff using worms. It's the future of organic gardening. It can be done in a small space. Now, sometimes we come across problems when we're doing this, though, and there are things that worry certain worm farmers, new worm farmers or inter intermediate worm farmers, or some problem occurs, and that can be with slaters. And I get answered this Actually, I get this question quite a lot. So I wrote something down here on a piece of paper from a Worm Wrangler member. She just joined number eight. Now, I know that Candy Crush has done the course before. And then she's on the website. And then she's come across and still become a Worm Wrangler. So she must be getting lots of value. And we thank you so much for becoming a part of the World Wrangler worm wrangler community sometimes i get a bit tongue twisted with that but first let's read the question because we want to work on solving the solution to this problem marty okay so it's from the subscriber candy crush addict marty i don't seem to see slaters in any of your worm farms i really wet mine down but still there is a huge population of them what can i do different now she does mention earwigs in that question as well so we'll get to the slaters first and then we'll talk about the earwigs right so slaters slaters are not really a problem in the worm farm actually they eat the carbon and the material the organic material and help break down so they are really good part of the recycling process and if you've got slaters in your worm farm they're not going to hurt the worms at all and generally they hang sort of around the carbon areas where there's sort of layers and things like that so there might be some layers of cardboard layers of newspaper and they'll feed on that carbon base generally i believe they may eat other things in there but they don't eat anything like insects or whatever they're not carnivores like the earwig now so before we get to earwigs don't worry about the slaters too much i'm sure they're going to be fine and they're great little funny things to have around and they're not really a problem so yeah i wouldn't worry about it for the moment candy crush but the earwigs hmm now these guys are carnivores right and they eat little insects now in an open compost bin probably a a good thing to have they're probably a part of that whole cycle in the ground when you've got like carbon and compost and things breaking down in the garden you would have earwigs the pincers grab hold of little insects and probably num num nummy on them and eat them away and hey that's life you know i think one of the smallest microbes or one of the smallest things that isn't a microbe inside the soil garden soil is a little tiny scorpion that they can see under a microscope so how cool is that so there's heaps of stuff going on right but in the worm farm earwigs may be a problem right so i did some research actually she's getting a bit windy and all my paperwork just blew away just <laughs> so i gotta i gotta get back and rescue that in a minute we'll move around here into the nice sunny spot out of any wind so earwigs being carnivores, they may be a problem. So I did some research into about them on the ABC channel. And they said that if you get like a small can of oil, say vegetable oil or olive oil or something like that, and fill it up. So I'm having a bit of a struggle. We've got airplanes coming across, the wind's coming across, people are talking, all types of stuff. But we'll just keep on vlogging. There it goes. The airplane. I haven't seen many in the sky lately because of the whole COVID thing, I guess. And they really don't want me to talk about earwigs, do they? Right, so earwigs. What we do is we can set up little traps for them. We can put like a tin down or something like that with some oil in there and a bit of soy sauce, apparently, like a tablespoon of soy sauce. And not too deep, nice and shallow tray where they can sort of crawl up and in. And apparently that works as a trap. Now, I haven't tried it, but... The ABC, Gardening Australia, they're very good and they usually won't tell you something or teach you something if it doesn't work. So give that a try. 
I don't know about in worm farms. I don't think the worms would crawl into the oil. But listen, guys, the community has always got answers to these questions. If you can help with any of these questions down below, please do so. If you've got any about earwigs, slaters, things like that, then let me know also down in the comments box down below and see if we can solve the problems. Now, I do cover pests a lot more in the worm wranglers area level three worm wrangler you can hit the join button which is right next to the subscribe button or go down into the area where i've got sort of i do all the writing and stuff like that and you can find a link down in there to become a level three worm wrangler and do the full starting a worm farm a beginner's guide course all right hope you enjoyed that quick vlog just a quick one for you candy crush being a level three Worm Wrangler, I'm here to help you out. Have a great day. Happy worm farming. Flexi hand. We'll see you at the next vlog real soon. Bye for now. Love you guys. All the birds are making homes inside the evergreens. The air is clear with our loved ones close.